Dr. Christina Melton, the superintendent of Lexington Richland School District 5, has resigned. That news broke at last night's school board meeting, as did board member Ed White's resignation. News 19's Julia Kaufman joins us now with the details on this still developing story. Julia. Yeah, Dr. Melton's last day will be June 30th. Now, she announced at the board meeting last night that she was leaving, and you could really see how upset she was while reading her letter. Now, it's unclear what Dr. Mel Melton's plans are next or why exactly she resigned, but before she made the announcement, board member Ed White resigned too. Today, Mr. White put out a statement saying he left because the board, quote, signed a secret settlement agreement with Dr. Melton to terminate the superintendent's contract without a public vote. He continues to say the board wanted to present the false facade that she had resigned and kept it from the public. He says he refused to sign the agreement. Now let's take a listen to some of Dr. Melton's speech and a parent that we spoke with earlier today. I thank our families, our community, and especially our students. I am grateful to the staff at School District 5. I am convinced the brightest, most talented, capable, and caring professionals are concentrated right here. I wasn't entirely surprised. For a while now, there's been a very clear and concerted effort among some of our board members to try and force her out of her position. Um, not for reasons that seem legitimate or, or valid. So when it happened, I wasn't entirely surprised for that reason. Now, as you just heard, that mom April blames a few board members for Dr. Melton leaving, as does board member Ed White. We spoke with board chair Jan Hammond. She thinks she, of the world of Dr. Melton, and she says it was her decision to leave not the boards. And Darcy, we're hoping to have an official statement from Jan soon. Okay, so she says, the board chair says that it was Dr. Melton's decision to leave. Um, she was incredibly emotional last night. And when you couple that with Mr. White's statement that all this was done in secret, it does leave more questions than answers. Yes, we're definitely hoping to have more answers uh, from Jan Hammond soon, but it's, it's a lot of he said, she said, of course, that what happened in that meeting was an executive session. So it was behind closed doors and we, the public, we don't have all the answers mm -hmm. yet, but we hope, um, you know, Mr. White's statement might force some of those answers into the public. Okay, so we know when Dr. Melton's last day is, she again being the state superintendent of the year, what happens next for District 5, the staff, the students, the parents, the teachers? Right, that's a great question. I think a lot of that is still up in the air, uh, but what we do know is that her last day is the 30th and uh, the board says they're going to have another meeting later this week. We don't know when yet, but sometime this week to pick an um, interim superintendent uh, that'll start July 1st. And then we can assume after that, they'll start the search for a permanent one. A lot has to happen in about two weeks. Yep. All right, Julia Kaufman, thank you so much. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story for you, not only on air, but also 